What up my piano friends, Zach Evans here and today we're gonna to answer the question, how long does it really take to get good at piano? Now we're gonna be very specific with this question. We're gonna break piano up into three categories, technique, playing by ear, and learning songs. We're gonna be very specific and say, okay, if you practice this much time a day using this routine for this many weeks, you will get this result. Because I used to ask piano teachers that, they'd always just say, it depends. And I hate that answer because it's not practical at all and it doesn't help anybody out. So we're gonna get very specific and really define these terms for you. And make sure you watch to the end of the video. I'm gonna give you a specific step-by-step -step game plan to learn all these aspects of piano in a certain amount of time. So make sure you watch to the end of the video for that. All right, so first let's talk about technique. How long does it take to get solid technique on piano? Now before we do this, we have to define what we consider good technique and we have to have a very specific qualification. Now I define solid technique, being able to play all 12 major scales at 90 beats per minute, 16th notes, right? So you take a metronome, put it at 90 beats per minute, and you're playing four notes per click, one octave, you can do it for all 12 scales. Now, does this mean you've mastered technique? Of course not. But you do have solid technique for sure. You have the finger strength, the dexterity, and the coordination to play most of the songs as long as it's not some crazy Chopin etude or something like that. So how long does it take to get there? It takes about 12 weeks if, and this is the big if, there's some caveats. You have to practice 10 minutes a day for five to six days a week for those 12 weeks. Now, by the way, this does not mean oh, I skipped five days and then I practiced an hour on the last day and made up for it. Anybody that's played piano meet knows that doesn't count. It has to be five to six days a week, 10 minutes every day. That's the first caveat. Second caveat is you have to use accelerated learning techniques. If you're just repetition and just playing the scale over and over, it's a very slow way of learning. There's different ways to learn piano faster. I don't have time to go in depth into those techniques in this lesson, but if you want them, all you have to do is sign up for my free piano course and scroll down to the four lessons on accelerated learning techniques and you can learn them right there. Now right now you might be thinking to yourself, this sounds too good to be true, can you really get solid technique in 12 weeks? And as I'm recording this, I'm, all, I'm, I'm already future seeing the comments below saying, there's no way you could do it in 12 weeks. I'm gonna address all of those issues and exactly why it is 100% possible to learn this in 12 weeks later in the video, so make sure you stick around for that. All right, next let's talk about playing piano by ear. How long does it take to become good at playing piano by ear? Now, when I say good, we need to define this. What I don't mean is master playing by ear, where you can literally sit down and instantly play a song. When I say good, I mean you can sit down and you might spend up to 10 minutes dinking around and kind of figuring out the tricky sections and listening and listening back and playing. It might take you up to 10 minutes to learn a pop song by ear. That's what I consider being good at playing by ear. To get to that level, there's, there's basically two time frames. If you're a person who already knows how to play songs hands together, just can't play by ear, it'll take you about four months to learn to play by ear. If you're a complete beginner and you've never played a song hands together before, it'll take you about six months because there's other skills in terms of just getting hands together and getting some coordination down that you're also gonna have to learn. Now, just like the technique section, of course, there are some caveats. First big caveat, just like technique, you have to practice five to six days a week, 10 minutes a day. Again, you can't practice an hour one day and take the rest of the week off. It doesn't work like that. Second caveat, and I learned this the hard way, is you have to use play by ear exercises and drills. You can't just put your iPod in, turn on a song and just try to learn it. That's like going from zero to 100 without learning all the steps in between. And I tried that for a long time and eventually in college I took a class called oral skills. Uh, not oral skills, oral skills. And basically it taught you how drills and exercises to systematically learn how to play by ear and I learned so much faster and within a semester, about four months, I was playing songs by ear. All right, lastly, let's talk about learning songs. How long does it take to become good at learning songs on piano? Now this is a tricky one to define because it's kind of like, well, how hard are the songs you're playing? Right, if you're, if you're trying to learn Beethoven sonatas, it's gonna be a lot harder than learning, let's say, a pop song. It's gonna be even harder than learning Mary Had a Little Lamb. So we have to define this. Now, there's no really quantitative way to de define it. So what I define it as is, if you played this song 
and some random average person heard you, they would think to themselves, oh, you're good at piano. Wait, they're not coming up to you, oh my God, that was amazing, like, can I get your autograph? You were just blow me away. But they would say, hey, that guy or that girl is good at piano. That's what I define as getting to the point where you can learn songs to that level. Now, how long does that take? On average, it takes about six months to get to that level. Now, again, just like everything else, there's caveats. This time, you have to practice 20 minutes a day, five to six days a week. It's gonna take you six months. And the caveat is, you have to have very specific detailed practice, meaning you have to break down your song into sections and spend a block of practice time in each section, right? So if you have 20 minutes, it could be four blocks of five minutes or two blocks of 10 minutes. But either way, you have to say, okay, for this 10 minutes, I am only gonna focus on section C because it is the tricky section. And what a lot of people do, and they waste a lot of time, I, I did this so much when I was first starting out, is they end up playing the easy part of their song for like half the practice session. And they waste all that time when really the part that's gonna make you grow, the part that's gonna really challenge you, are those tricky sections that you need to work on. So it's really important, take that 10 minute block, say, okay, I'm only gonna focus on the tricky section. I'm gonna take hands separate. I'm gonna be very accurate in my practicing. I'm gonna use a metronome. All these little things that when combined make that 20 minute practice session very powerful, especially if you do it every day. All right, now before I get onto the specific game plan that you can use to learn all of these skills, I wanna address the people that I know are gonna comment below and saying, this is BS, you can't learn piano this fast. I'm telling you, I've had so many students and you absolutely can. Here's why people think it's impossible. It's basically because they don't actually follow the little details that make it right. And I know this because I've had so many students, right? They come into my lesson and I say, okay, show me your scale. And it's not where it should be. And I go, did you practice this week? And they say, yeah, man, I, I practiced exactly what you said. I did six days a week. I did 10 minutes a day. I used the strategies. But then I ask him and I said, okay, what days did you practice this week? And every time it's like, it's like, well, yeah, I practiced Monday and Tuesday. And then, uh, well, I had a dentist appointment Wednesday. And then, oh, I actually forgot Thursday too. And then, uh, you know, I practiced Friday, but then Saturday we had a family get together. I'm like, bro, you practiced three days. Don't say you practiced six days. Say you practiced three days. And it's the little details when people think that they practice more than they have. It's human nature, it is. It, another thing that happens a lot is I'll say, okay, did you use a stopwatch to time your 10 minute practice sessions? And all the time students will say, well, no, I just kind of you know, do 10 minutes in my head. I'm telling you from experience, because I went through this, your 10 minute practice session, it'll start out at 10 minutes, but after three weeks, four weeks of practicing, that 10 minutes will shrink to like six or seven minutes. And in your mind, you're like, yeah, I'm practicing about 10 minutes but it's not 10 minutes, it's six to seven minutes. And it's just human nature to slowly let that slip down. But if you stay consistent, really time it out for 10 minutes, you can absolutely get the results that I'm talking about in this video. Now the second thing people say is they're always like, well, everybody's different. That's true, but people aren't that different. Here's what I mean. From my experience with students, if they follow the plan, you might have, let's say Amy, and let's say Amy learned to play by ear in four months. Let's say Bob, another student, doesn't pick on a, up on it quite as fast, but he's still following the exact training plan, he's doing exactly what I say, and he's following all the details right. It might take Bob four and a half months, or maybe even five months to learn to play by ear. But it's not taking him eight months, right? It's not taking him double the amount of time that Amy took. It might take a little longer. So for you, it might take a little longer or a little shorter than what I'm kind of saying in this video, but just know that Nobody has this crazy advantage where, you know, they're learning stuff in half the time or, or, or any disadvantage where it takes them double the time to learn that. So I just want to make that clear that no matter what type of person you are, you can absolutely, absolutely get these results if you follow all the details. All right, let's talk about a step-by-step -step action plan now. So if you think about it, if you took six months, six months and said, okay, I'm taking this some six months, I'm learning piano. If you spend 10 minutes, on your technique every day. Boom, you block in a 10 minute practice session, then you block in 10 minutes of play by ear section, and you block in 20 minute practice session learning songs. Right, that's 40 minutes total. Can you dedicate 40 minutes to piano? You do that for six months, you will have solid technique, 
you will be able to play by ear, you know, learning songs in 10 minutes, and you will be able to play songs where people would say, wow, you're really good at piano, right? It takes six months. Can you do 40 minutes for six months? And if you can't, okay, let's say you only have 20 minutes. Okay, let's say I'm gonna spend three months doing 10 minutes technique, 10 minutes a song. That's it for, for three months. Boom, now my technique is solid. Now my songs are getting better. Then I'm gonna spend another three months or four months, let's say, learning to play by ear 10 minutes and 10 minutes on my song. Okay, now I have playing by ear good and my songs are pretty close, right? I've only been doing half. So now I take another couple months and I, I drill in the songs. You could easily, within a year, even if you only practice 20 minutes a day, within a year you could be at this level of being quote unquote good at piano. Now, like everything else, like I said, it's all about the details. Technique, make sure you're really using technique drills. Play by ear, make sure you're really using play by ear exercises. By the way, I have some of these two in my free Become a super Piano Superhuman course, so you can sign up for that as well. And for songs, remember, make sure you're really breaking them up into actual sections and learning them. All right, I really hope you enjoyed that video. Thanks a lot for watching. Peace out and happy practicing. <laughs>